All right, guys, before we get the, the main catfish episode started, I'm going to show you a fish Nick caught the night before where we were just out chilling right at dark with some fresh cut bait, and uh, it's a pretty big one, so stay tuned. Take it down, take it down. I think he's swimming with that. Yeah, he's swimming upstream with that. Come on come on up here and reel down on that. Real slow. No, hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him, reel. Got him. He's going upstream. That might be a striper. You got him? Yep. You got him? Yep, I do. That was wacky. Yeah, he hit it. Ooh, yeah, head shake went crazy. How's that drag? Loosen it. That might be a striper, bro. Come on, stand back here. Get back in the floorboard. Well, guys, that took five minutes. If that, he's going under. Where's he going? To the left. Okay, well, we're going to have to come. All right, come here. Yep. Okay. Up. Yep. Oh, Jesus. Oh, that is it's a giant like, striper. Oh. Holy crap. Uh oh. All right, guys, we're going to have to get him. No, get him out. Get him out. I'm trying. Get him out. I'm trying to keep him out. Well, he's in it now. All right, we got to put this down. I kid you not, guys, we've been here for five minutes. Five freaking minutes. Nick is the luckiest son of a bitch ever alive. Like, I have, <laughs> I have never fished this spot. We don't have a depth finder today. I was like, huh, this looks good. Threw out some cut baits and wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Here we go. Oh, look at that thing. That's a 30 plus pound striper. <laughs> He swam into the drip sauce. That was freaking nuts. That one's getting bit right next to you. It is. Look, pan over. Let me put it down. You put it down. All right, we gotta get this drift sock out. Okay. All right, you just, I guess, hold that. Oh my god, this dude's green. Whoa. Like super green. Heck, the dude wasn't even really hooked. What the heck? He's unhooked now. All right, I'm gonna have to cut that out. Okay. All right, there's Nick's 37 pound striper <laughs> in the first freaking five minutes. All right, let's release him. He's pretty green. Oh, he just kicked. See ya. Swimming away. There he goes. Well, good morning, Top Knox Fishing Crew. We are going on a scouting mission today. We are without a depth finder of any kind, and all we're rocking is Navionics on the phone and uh, knowledge of the fishery and the TVA generation app and the weather. So I'm gonna try to teach you how I break apart water when I ain't got a depth finder and I'm fishing new areas. I've fished on this lake before, but I'm gonna fish stuff I've never fished before in a section of the lake I don't ever really fish for whatever reason. So uh, yeah, we're here on Fort Loudon. We're gonna be uh, fishing some muddy current filled water with fresh skipjack and gizzard chad. And we got a buddy meeting us here in a few, but I'm gonna go check a couple spots out before he gets here. So we may or may not catch anything in that time period. I'm thinking the activity period's gonna happen like mid morning to afternoon when it warms up. But uh, until then, it be frosty and I'm gonna put the phone down so I don't fall down this thing on my big ginger butt. But there's a pig sled down there. She's rigged up. No depth finder. We got a couple new anchors. No more cinder blocks. My back, my back hurts too bad to do that. Fresh giant gizzard chad. Fresh giant striper bait. Catfish bait. Skipjack. I don't know. I was thinking about what happened last night. Nick and I came out for about an hour and a half before dark. And uh, he caught about a 40 pound striper, which I'm going to show now. And uh, I lost uh, about a 40 pound catfish with the bow. It just popped the hook. So it's a good evening. And uh, it was falling water yesterday. I think it's going to be rising water today, which is good. The bait's already dimpling back here. You can see the gizzard shad off in the distance. So that's a good sign. I like muddy water. Um, somebody forgot their houseboat here. 
not sure how that managed to get rammed all the way up there. It must be there since summer pool, but these are all over Dagum Loudon, and I don't know why. TWA, if you're watching this, can we please clean this shit up? Or like yell at the people who do this, because they're in creeks everywhere on Loudon Teleco. Back a couple of weeks ago, we had some giant snowstorms here in East Tennessee where Knoxville got like 12 inches, which is more than I've ever seen in my entire life. And I'm about 29, I think. I don't know. But uh, when that happened, we've got all these docks around here and boat slips that aren't built to withstand that much weight with that much snow on top of them. And a few of them collapsed, like this one right here. And this happened all over Knoxville, all over East Tennessee and Middle Tennessee, really. Like, it was wild. If you haven't checked those videos out, look back a couple weeks ago on the videos and you can see Katie and I going down to Alabama and fishing in it. Um, it was nuts, like crazy, crazy. So, uh, yeah. That one screwed up. I wonder if there's any boats underneath it. There do, in fact, be boats underneath it. Several. That's just crazy. Nuts. Well, we're trying to get lines out here at this creek mouth. I've run up this little river, um, and I got two rods out, and they are already getting dinked to death by what looks like channel cats, gar, or turtles one of the two but like there's two rods out and they've been out for 30 seconds and they've both been getting destroyed so i'm gonna reel one in for a second and we're just gonna see what's going on here i'm gonna give it like 15 minutes a spot it looks like little catfish look how it's you see how the skin's pulled back a gar will like chew it up so these look like little channel cats little blues something like that but there could be a big blue here at this creek mouth. This water's dropped a ton. It's crazy low. So anything that was up... Uh, oh, that, that hit in a fish's mouth as soon as it landed. What the heck? Anything that was in these creeks on this little river has come out and is in this main river channel now. We're starting out fishing about 15 feet of water. Gets really, really shallow as you go back up that way. But there's some 30-foot spots a little bit further down. So we're going to start up here in the shallow-ish. This is... It was 15 at full pool. It's probably like 11 right now, maybe less. And then uh, we're going to give it 15 here, and then we're going to move out. But we've got fresh cut skipjack, fresh cut gizzard shad, and fresh cut gigantic threadfin shad. And uh, if we just peck, get pecked to death constantly in this portion of the river, I'm, I'm going to goose out of here once we pick up my buddy. That's... I just don't want my baits to get chewed to pieces if I don't have to. Know what I'm saying? Know what I'm saying, y'all? Skadoosh. Super shallow. Super shallow. Super shallow. But yeah, that's what we're doing. Getting these baits out. There's a creek mouth. Drops down to a little bit of a hole and then it wraps really hard right here and the current picks up against that wall. And it looks pretty deep over there, so... We're going to try that next. Once more getting channel catted to death on a giant hole bait. That hurts my soul. Is he trying to hook himself up? He might be trying. That looks like a guard something. That's why I'm running with it. I think that's a gar, if I had to guess. I think he's hooked up. Nope. That was a gar. Look at this thing right here. Look at this thing right here. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. That one's hooked up. Was. Nope. Yeah, look. That's a turtle or a gar when they do that right there. You can see where they were chomping on it. <coughs> Wacky. Well, at least we know stuff's active i guess that's a positive 
I'm literally gonna give this 10 more minutes. Cause this is just gonna drive me crazy. Areas like this are good, like in the springtime, the shallow rivers leading off the main ones. I just want to check it out because it had so much current coming off of it from uh, from where uh, we had so much rain the last few days. Like it rained like five inches, I think. That's why it's all chocolate milk. All this current here is just runoff from the mountains. That's it. So that's what I was watching. That's how you can tell. You got either current from the dams here in Tennessee, or you got natural current, just it coming from a high altitude coming down, or you got current from runoff, rain runoff, or snow melt. But this is current from rain runoff. That's why it's in here. Well, y'all, we got dinged to death here. I gave it 15, 20 minutes and got debated three times, so I'm gone. We're just gonna leave the trolling motor down and we're gonna hit one more spot, then we're gonna go pick up Tyler. And uh, we'll come back up. I haven't had enough time to fish. I've just been kind of exploring up here to say if it's not worth it or not, even with the water down. But I think targeting the deeper water is going to be uh, what we need to do from what I'm seeing right now. We have moved spots to this neck down this river with a, a timber log jam on it. And we are already getting, I don't, I don't know, like if it was a spring or summer or fall, like I would say this is flathead heaven on a river. But like this water tip is so dang cold, who knows? I've caught them on cut bait and colder, but uh, I don't even know, guys. We're just throwing it out. This is our last spot before we go get Tyler. And we're literally gonna get it like 15 minutes. I'm only gonna throw out like four rods because there's not enough room. I mean, this is wide enough for me to almost pee across it, maybe. So we're not gonna give it super long, but I've yeeted these bank baits as far as I could to that timber pile. And there's a point that comes out right here and it drops off in the 20. That thing is swimming upstream. Look at this. Look at this. This fish is swimming upstream with it. He put it down. That bait was all the way over there. I think he's still got it. I think this fish has still got it. He put it down. That's so weird. That thing ate it way, way down there and swimming all the way up here and around. So wacky. I don't even remember what it was on. I think it was a gizzard chat chunk. Yeah. This is so weird. This current's really weird right here too. I'm gonna show you. There's like a shoal behind me kinda. Oh, right here. You put it down. Daggone, if I whipped out some little thread fins and small circle hooks, we'd be having a time. We'd be catching a hundred damn little channel cats. Look at this spinner one right here hey swim with it too i'm gonna just i'm gonna go hit them and see what happens drive me crazy i think put it down i am for sure guys it's just wacky he's definitely still on it you can see that line going up and down I got something. I got something. Fish number one. Bet you it's channel cat. If I had to put money on it, it's channel cat. I put a dollar on it. I bet a mitt chicken for this. I bet a mitt chicken. Heck, he's still found the spinner rod. I love this medium action big cat fever spinner rod. You can catch, I think the biggest fish we've caught on it's like a 70 pound paddle fish. Or you can catch a little channel cat like this. I bet this is a six, eight pound channel cat. Something like that. It's a little blue. How about that? He identifies as a channel cat. Channel cat. Boat flip in the blue. Well, we know little blues are up here, guys. We know little blues are up here. He's fat too, look. It ain't deep, that, that's not him having a blown up belly from being down deep and not decompressing. That's just him being a fatty. Being a fatty. 
See ya. Look at this. We got another little blue. That or we're moving. It's weird. We got this current wraps around right here. There's like an island out here, and there's current coming, current coming this way, and there's current coming that way. And it kind of shoots around right here, and that's why there's that big timber deposit right there is from where all this current hits that bank. I'm betting in the, the summertime, ooh, this would be a hell of a flathead spot, boys and girls. If I had to bet, I'd bet on that. This might be a little better. That is a little better. That is a little better. That was a decent takedown. Okay, so there's some there's some catfish up here. This is a decent this was a decent takedown. This is also the I think this is a medium. Yeah, this is a medium Hellcat, which they're a little lighter, but still, it's fun. Nice slow takedown. I think this one ate a head bait. This one ate the double rig. So he's got to be fairly decent, don't he? Don't he, guys? Don't he got to be fa fairly decent? Oh, he's digging. He's a digging. This one right here is getting bit. I'm having fun out here. Tyler's going to have a blast. Oh, look, that one's getting hit. We're going to have us a double. There we go. He's trying to dig. Nice blue. Very nice blue. Not bad. Not bad, not bad, not bad. I bet he's close to 20 pounds, y'all. I bet he's close to 20 pounds. I bet he's close to 20 pounds. He's going to be a boga gripper for sure. This is going to be the final one on this spot because I ain't going to swore lip him. I'm going to wait. Put a post on Facebook saying I need somebody to come fish with me. We scout new water. My back sore from doing deadlifts the other day and I don't feel like reeling fish in. Here I am reeling fish. That's a solid fish. She cooked them. I got them. I got them. Yeah. That ain't bad. That ain't bad. That ain't nothing to... Oh, he's good. He may be 25. Let's see how much he weighs. Yeah, he's 25. 24 and a half. Okay, that's good to know. That's good to know. Solid fish. Okay. Here we go, guys. Nice little 25 pounder to start the day. Not bad. This sun's being a butthole, though. I think I turned my, I turned my spot lock off. Yes, I did. That'll do it. Here we go. Nice 25 pounder to start the day with. We'll release him and we're gonna go get Tyler. See ya. That might be, that's a good fish. Holy crap, oh, it came off. Oh, I'm sorry. No, you're good, that's not your fault. I think he's still there actually. He's there. Grab him. Hooked up. Easy, easy. There you go. You're gonna step down now. Just keep that rod bent. Yeah, yeah keep reeling. Yeah, just step down on the floor. Damn, it does look like good. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? That was a good fish. He took it down. All right, so I'm gonna walk you. I'm gonna pick these rods up, and you're gonna reel down and come up underneath me. Okay, reel down. Okay. Keep it tight. Keep it tight. Okay. That's gonna be a decent fish again. My man. Yep. He's going upstream. 
There you go, perfect. Real, 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 real. Keep it bent. There you go. Real, real, real. There you go. You might be a pretty distant fish. Yeah, 10, 15, 100. There you go. Heck yeah. <laughs> oh, right there, right there. Get that one. Get that spin reel. Reel down on the reel, 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 reel. Keep reeling, keep reeling, keep reeling, keep reeling, keep reeling. You got to pull them out, pull them out. There you go. We pulled those fish out of that hole down there, I think. There you go. I think that's going to be about the same size. He took it down like he meant it, though. Both of those guys did. They're eating. Once you're on them, like I said, they're just eating it. So I think we're going to fight left if we can. Actually, maybe going right. All right, bring him right. You're good, dude. That's just part of this. Double, double, double. Heck yeah. I love fighting him on that spinning rod. It's super fun. That's the bend. I, that's the bend. Bend I like in it, right there. See how it's bent like that? Keep it like that. That's the first time I've ever doubled up a uh, four. Let's see what we got. What we got here? What we got? Another, another good one. Bring them on over here. Good stuff, good stuff. That's your first double? Yeah, first Heck yeah. Gotta get my phone ready for <laughs> Double, 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 double. All right, well, first spot. Mr. Skyler here got a, a double, 13, 14 pounders all at one time. I told him we moving every few minutes. We're just fishing new stuff today. We're fishing these deep water bends in this little river, just trying to trying to find them. And we're gonna let these suckers go. So the way that thing works, you right see this there. thing? Yep. Yeah. Make sure you just keep a hold of those grips. Those are 300 bucks. Gone. I don't really care much about those, but you can put that lanyard around your wrist. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And then, there we go. Out of way, my man. Hell First yeah. two. Let's go. Oh, he, he came off. No, he's there. Real down on him. Real down on him. Real down on him. Real, real, real. He's on there. That's a good one. There you go, buddy. Keep it tight. Keep it tight. Keep it tight. There you go. Heck yeah. Well, guys, we moved down just a second to this deeper water. He might be in that other line. I think he is in that other one. That's all right. Come over the top of this other one. If you can, nah, he's already in it. He'll be all right. Just put it in clicker. That might be a decent fish. He took it down real nice and steady like we like it. Uh, he might came off. Uh, boy, no, he's, not he's coming at you. How's he feeling? Oh, oh. He he's got you a little. Yeah, he, he got is, you a little big. He is, he is a little big. I think he's bigger than the ones before. He might be a 16, 18. He's keeping that sucker bent. We like that. Oh yeah. He took a little drag on the hook set. Go ahead and walk up under it. We're gonna go left with him. Reel down. Okay. Over the top. Oh. All right, you got him now. All right, go ahead and step down. Bite him up to the left-hand side of the boat here. You might, you might have a good one. Yeah, you got a good fish, I think, buddy. If he does, it'll be all right. You got to fight him. We'll catch us another one. They're pretty active right now. Ooh, ooh, dude! I'm, 
I don't think it's a catfish. That's catfish. Is it? Yeah. As big as I've ever caught them. Maybe. Is he snagged on something? Uh, no, he's he's. I think he's pulling against me. Or I'm, no, he's pulling. I wonder if this line snagged. Pull, pull pretty hard on it. He's got this line snagged. Okay, we, we're gonna have to float back and get this fish, I think. Just keep it tight. Yep, they're in something. There he is, I can see him right there. Yeah, this line right here is snagged. Uh, I don't know yet. I think we're gonna try to float back to him. All right, go ahead and pull. This is gonna be real janky. I can get this out of the way. There's a tree or something down there. All right. Now we're just coming to it. I took this off spot lock. That's a good fish, buddy. That might that might be a 20 pounder. He's in a net. Alright, I'm just spot lock this again. Yeah, I'm sorry. Oh, you're good. That ain't your fault. That's just what happens whenever. Oh yeah, he might go 30, man. There's your 30 pounder. That's 30. Man, oh man, dude. Look at that guy. Yeah, he's 32 probably, I bet. That away. All right, just like that, Skylar got his new PB, 28 pounds. That fish is fat. Fat daddy. Fat daddy. All right, dump him back. That was about an eight on the dive scale. Not bad. How'd that feel? It felt really, really good. I love catching with that spinning rod. Yeah, no, they, they will fight on Mondo. That's what you want. They will. We got us a bite here, y'all. We got us a bite. I gotta get my chair out of the way. Yeah, he's sitting hard now. Uh -huh. did a second ago. Mm. Uh -huh. I was acting all flat. -headed. That might be a good one. He's on it. Hold on, let me get out of the way. He's there. <laughs> he's just coming up stream at it. He's not very big, but he's there. That's fish. <laughs> hey! They are active today, guys. I mean, we just moved down to this next spot. It's a just a, a little bend on the river. Got some more rocks and crap, and it's like 20 plus feet deep. That seems to be the strategy today. What kind of shore we're at, where we're at on the map. We're running with no depth finder. Never fished any of this stuff before. And we're just on this little deep hole right here. Boop. Right there. And that's what they they sit in there. What's he look like? He's mobile. Little guy? He looks like a little guy the way he hit it. Let me get this other one out of the way. Alright, go ahead and go left with it. Hey, he's a fish though. And he bit quick. He bit quick. There we go. Nice little five, six pounder. That's a perfect eating size if you were to eat one right there. He's slimy. He's slimy. Chuck him back. See ya. We've moved down to our final spot in this smaller river. And we're going to throw a big spread out here because it's really open. And this is a big old giant gizzard chad. We're going to double hook rig him and chuck him out. It's about three to four feet of water over there and 10 to 15 back on this side. It's kind of kind of wonky, but we'll see. We had a dink bite. I don't think this is an area where fish are just going to hold. They're just going to be moving through this area to go up in this river. So we'll see. We'll give her 30 and if nothing, we'll bump out of here. But we're going to put a couple on a flat. Whenever it's sunny like this, the flats warm up. And those fish can push right up in that shallow water. 
on these bluebird days in the winter. I'll launch this one over you, Sky. Bonk on the bottom. We will see what happens. We're gonna do a little chumming. Just get our scent out a little bit. The Binky boy hitting that one still? No, nah, nothing's been touching any of these so far. Nothing? Alright, well. Reel down, reel down. Got him! Maybe. Yeah, you got him. He's on it. I think he's coming at you. Just reel it in. Maybe. I don't know. Come off? Yeah. I bet it was a gar. Let's see that bait. Look at that one beside you. Wait for that to go down. That's about to be a really good fish. Oh, he put it down. Dang it! On that. Reel down on that. Reel down on that. Reel, reel, reel. Reel, reel, reel. Real quick, 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 quick. That's a big double rig. You got him. Oh my goodness. He's... That should be a pretty good fish. There you go. Got him. All right, well, I'm gonna get this bait out while uh, Scholar's fighting that fish. Just keep that rod bent, buddy. You are doing great. We're gonna go out here with one of these big gizzards. Big gizzard chunk. Gizzy daddy. Oh, look at him. Yeah. Oh, look right here. Oh, he put it down. What's going on? Both of them are getting hit. Something wacky is going on behind you there. Oh, that's two center rods. They both got hit at the same time, or one of them got, oh, man. One of them got swum into the other one. Got big. Yeah, he took it down like he he had some cojones. I'm gonna throw this big old gizzy chunk out. Oh yeah, that's 20 pounder. Looks like. Maybe 18. That's how active they are though. That size of fish ate that big double bait. I see him. Oh, that's gotta be about 20. He's hooked good. Got him. Oh yeah. There you go, my man. Fat fish, fat fish. There we go. Another 20 pounder. Fort Loudon ain't got no fish in it. Little asshole. I'll go ahead and step up real slow, walk up there and start reeling on him. He's swimming with it left to right. Oh, he put it down. Dang. No, he's still there. Okay, get up. Walk over there. Put your lant, ha left hand up on the top of the reel. Yeah. Slowly. Keep reeling. Keep reeling. Keep reeling. Keep go, 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 go. Keep going. Go, 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 go. If he's not, it's okay. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Reel, reel, reel. Put that hook in him. You got him. You got him. Oh, he came off, I think. He came off. Yeah, he came off. It's all right. Oof, missed that one, but we're having a pretty fun time. Pretty fun time, it's beautiful out here. We were fishing the last section of this little river, and then we're gonna go out on the main Tennessee River and uh, see if we can't catch some catfish. Big daddies. He put it down, dang it. That was crazy. Dude, he ate it up over there and swam it all the way over. That acts like a striper right there. That was a heavy too. Yeah. Oh, there he is. Huh. I don't know. No, this is... This is a snag. I think. I think this is a stick. If it's not a stick, I'll hand it over to you, but I'm pretty sure it's a stick. This is dead weight. No, it's fish here. Take it.
so confused. It's a blue. That was so weird. What the heck? That was the weirdest thing ever. All right, well, that's a good blue. He's just now fearing he's hooked, I guess. Uh, yeah, I'm, we'll do our thing. Guys, we didn't even have all the rods out here and this one got hit. That was on the headpiece too. Yeah, and under. That one just got hit. Here, I'm gonna let you go ahead and just grab them with the grippies. I'm gonna get these rods out. Ooh, sorry, bonked you in the head. Sorry, man. Actually, I'll get away. That was crazy, dude. I thought that was gonna be a striper. That's how they hit it. They hit and start running left to right. Quit it, quit it. Oh, there's some on that one too. Which one? That black one. There you go. Very nice, very nice. Okay, well that works. I guess we'll throw a big gizzard out real quick. I haven't even had time to show you guys what we're fishing and why we're fishing it yet, but we catch and fish, we good with that. That was the weirdest bite I've almost ever seen. I had absolutely no clue what was going on. So weird. Well, there's another almost 20 pounder. Crazy. You didn't get all the rods out. We thought it was snagged. It like swam up and was swimming over everything. All right, dump them back. See ya. Tiny, little little pecker in that. Yeah, just leave him there. No, he's there, real, real, real hard. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Yeah, he ain't big. I think he was just coming at you. <laughs> I don't know. Weird. That bit really weird. That was a really weird bite. I mean, this is a headpiece, right? Yeah, it's that big double gizzard. That's a weird Super weird, bro. This has been a weird spot. Yeah, it has been. Weird bites. I thought we'd just get slammed, but right. that really happened. Little tiny guy? The channel cat? That's it, we're leaving. <laughs> we caught a channel cat. We're leaving. Look how oh yeah, he's lassoed. Yeah, we're leaving. <laughs> oh my goodness. Get him. Just keep it tight. That's a striper. Hooked up. That was a slam and jamma. Guys, we're set up at this creek mouth. I saw some birds diving and I was just like, there's gotta be a big fish here. And we just got slammed before we even got all the rods out. Jesus. Okay, step down the floor. I think that's a big striper. He's something. He slammed it, dude. We ain't in much, very deep of water at all, you guys. Like 10, 15 feet. He slammed it. We got a ton of current. Real, oh. real quick, real quick, real quick, quick. He's coming oh, at you. Okay. Whatever you do, don't stop reeling. I don't even care if you think he got off. Don't stop. That's a striper. Keep reeling, keep reeling, buddy. See how he's coming upstream? Okay. All right, just hold it tight there. Hold it tight. He's going up the current. Holy crap. Dude, he's heavy. That may be a big cat. Just keep it easy. Keep it tight. Just, I just want you to keep that rod bent like that. Look at that drag. Oh, my God. Okay, you're going to have to... He's going back up. Okay. That was a slam, buddy. Okay. Yep. Oh my That's God. a big fish, bro. Oh my God. That's a big fish, bro. Don't, don't touch it. Just let him take it. Keep it. 
Yeah, don't thumb it. Don't thumb it. Let him take if he wants it. That's a big fish. Keep it bent. Keep it bent. You're just going to have to tough through the pain. Oh, no. Nah, that's good. Keep it in your left hand like that. You got to use your left hand to pump. Because you may make a weird run where you got to be able to reel real quick, and if it's in the wrong hand, you can't do it. Nice and easy. There you go. Perfect, buddy. Perfect. All right. I want you to slowly start walking forward if you can. Keep it bent. Keep it bent. Keep it bent. You got to keep that rod bent while you're doing stuff. More drag? Yeah. Might be a big cat. He's staying down. I lever it is, it just bumped, it broke my PB. Real, 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 real. Not yet, he ain't in the boat, buddy. Easy, easy. Be calm and steady. Calm and steady. All right, walk up here. We can't let him get in the strong motor. Try to pull him back the other way. There we go. What is that? I think he's a big cat. Still with the drag. Yep. I think it's a big cat, bro. That's a large fish. Reel down. Nice and slow. There we go, buddy. Good job. Good job. That rod is bowed up. We got other rods getting bit back here, but I don't care about anything but this fish. <laughs> nice and steady. We just got to take it slow. That's all we can do. Is he taking more line? Nice and steady, nice and steady. Easy, easy up. Very slow. Holy Big blue. Reel down, reel down, reel down. Big blue. Big blue, buddy. Keep reeling, keep reeling. Keep reeling. Reeling. Get that rod away from the boat. Stick it to your right. Okay, reel down. And we gotta get him to come up head first into this net. Reel down, reel, reel, reel. Reel again, reel for me. Oh, I got him. Oh my God. <laughs> Give me a high five, bro. That's a monster. <laughs> this is your greatest moment of your fishing, fishing career. Your fishing career, there we go. Yeah. Dude, this is a horse. Oh crap. These are 40. How the f do I pick it up? <laughs> what a horse, bro. Oh, I want to take a picture of it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Damn. Tell the world how you're feeling, Skyler. Oh man, I don't know, dude. I'm feeling crazy. <laughs> I feel like I won the lottery. That's a damn big fish, bro. Yeah, that was, how'd I feel really? I, I thought it was going to be a striper the way it hit was just tear and drag. But then when you got, when it was digging down and staying down, I knew it was a blue cat then. It tore up his eye. What do we do with those? Uh, I don't know what we did with the pliers. All right, we got another monster. Holy crap. Jeez. This is another big one. Here you go. We got a, probably one pushing 50 on the floorboard and we got another big one right here. Well, he's got a giant hooked up, another big one. And I gotta get this big one out of the floor of the boat. Ow! He's over 40. Goodness gracious. All right, we got our net back in action, brother. Yeah. I think that's a heavier action rod. He's coming at you, too. Oh, you might be right. He's going to be decent. He's not as big. Yeah. 20 plus. Look, this one's about to go down. Maybe. All right. I'm going to throw this back behind the boat so we got baits in the water. Oh, my God. Look at that guy. He's working a, another Mac Daddy 
on over. Doing great, doing great. Alright, that one's still good. Okay. I'll grip this one. You're just going against that tournament. Yeah. Oh got him, he went right anywhere. There you go. That one's over 20. Go <laughs> right at it. <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> Alright, we just weighed this guy. He's 48 pounds. He's a poop off from a 50. Gosh, look at the meaty lips. You're gonna grab him right here, and you're gonna grab him underneath your belly like this, and then you're gonna curl him up. Okay? All right, there's his PB, 48 pounds. Horse! All right, let's see the side of him. Let's see the side of him. Look at that fish. What a monster. And we got a 20-something in the floorboard. All right, go ahead and release him. And you want to hold him with his hand in the water and put your hand down there with him. He was a hard fight. We're going to have to revive him. And put his head down in the water. There you go. Look what, oh, he's done. <laughs> he was good, buddy. All right, we gotta unhook that one. <laughs> Our way in this one. I can't tell. 20, 20, 24. Not bad. When we get you a picture with him, we'll release. Solid fish, another solid, solid cat. Put him back. Ah. See ya. Yeah, well, if you wanted to go, I'll tell right. you what. We're gonna give this spot 10 more minutes because that fish bit in five, the big daddy. And we're gonna move and try to fish two or three more spots where we gotta go. How's that sound? Sounds great to me, buddy. We are basically in flood stage down here. It is nasty as all get out, but the fish be biting. Now we gotta break 60. Or catch a striper, that'd be cool. Or a flathead. Wait for it, wait. Oh, he put it down. Dang, that one just got hit. Well, it's getting the flood water out here, guys. This is gonna be our final spot. There should just another little creek now. We're on the ledge where it drops off. I mean, we got whole trees coming by now. But it's a beautiful day, beautiful day. Boy, Skyler had a great trip, and I had a fun time watching him break his personal best so many times I can't even count it. It was an absolute blast. Hope you guys enjoyed this random trip with Top Knox Fisher with the No Depth Finder Challenge, and we'll catch you on the next one.